Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Costigan. On today's episode, we're not only going to be drinking beer, but we're going to be doing some cooking. And we're doing, hold on a minute. We're doing Easy Cook Ribs by Irresistible. Now these bad boys, I'm going to tell you, they're a little bit deceiving. What happens is if you look at the thawing instructions, okay, that's all you get to see. It says to do it in the fridge overnight. Dude, you don't need to do it overnight. There's also microwave instructions on thawing it, but... I'm not a huge fan on thawing things in the microwave. What I like to do is if you're going to thaw it in the fridge, you've got an isolated cube that holds in cold air. Woohoo! But it's going to take you longer to thaw whatever you're thawing. So in that case, use a microwave. But not in the traditional sense. You're thinking, ha, I'm just going to put it on thaw. Everything will be good to go. No. It's not going to taste the same. There's something about, to me, personally, that thawing over time thing that just does it. But the fridge takes way too long. So, why not use the microwave? What I'll do is I'll grab the object that I'm cooking, pull it out of the package if it's in a box, if it's like in a saran wrapped item, whatever, that's no biggie, that doesn't really hold in much cold air. But I'll literally sit it in the microwave, close the door so it's in a enclosed cube that keeps in cold, but doesn't actually produce cold. And that's the thing. If it's keeping in the cold, you don't have to worry about all them bacteria growing and all that BS. You're literally just thawing your object, food, a lot quicker. And the microwave keeps in that cold air, which helps against bacteria. And that's about it for that little tip. So where we're at now is we've got our ribs on the top rack. Now, they've been cooking for probably about eight minutes per side and doing pretty good. I've only flipped it twice so far. And you made me work so hard for this video, I couldn't even flick my cigarette, mine. What the hell's up with that? But we're going to deal with that later. Now, we're going to have a drink of beer, baby. And yes, I do listen to Q92 FM Timmons. And hell, I'm always looking for sponsors if anybody wants to. But in the meantime, there ain't going to be a commercial break right now. We're getting on the spice, baby. We're doing seasoning salt. Now, I like the Lowry's seasoning salt, which every time I think of Lowry's seasoning salt... I think of Mike Lowry from Bad Boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Lowry's, Lowry's, Lowry's seasoning, Lowry's seasoning salt. Now time for our commercial break. I'll catch you guys soon. Lowry's! <laughs> As you may have noticed, there was no commercial break because shit, I ain't got no sponsors. In that case, I'm gonna do this on my own, baby. So like they say in the...
So like they say in the cooking instructions, you can actually keep the sauce in the bag. And if you keep the sauce in the bag, you can actually use your marinating brush And you, you shove that thing right in there. You get that marinating brush all moist and luscious. And once you know it's luscious and moist, you got this like weird juice on it. You just, you go and you rub that across your ribs, you know, just, just, you know, lather it. You know, feel it with love. And hold on, if you're gonna do it once, You may as well penetrate that bag twice. Get your brush nice and juicy. Give it a good lube. And set that bag aside for later. You know you'll be using it. Then you jump back to your... Larry's seasoning salt. And give it another coating. Because I gotta be honest, you want those ribs juicy but you also want them covered in flavor. And now that I've showed you that part, we're not gonna show you that part again because I gotta stick my head upside down to talk to you. <laughs> talk to you later. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back from a not commercial break because shit, I ain't doing them right now. And if you don't like it, sponsor me. And yes, I approve smoking and drinking beer. Because of my life right now, it ain't gonna change, baby. I enjoy it. But while I was getting this cigarette and a little bit of a break between cooking, I came back to the barbecue and flipped my ribs and they broke in half. And that there is a great sign that my ribs are just about done, baby. So what I'm going to do is, Mama Bear, I love my mommy so, so much. She made corn the other night. Oh, about three, four minutes in the microwave. I'm going to throw that on the grill. Since it's already cooked, it ain't going to take long. But, the fact that I threw it on the grill. Yes, I'm taking this opportunity to flick. Thank you. Well, if you're going to have a smoke. I'm going to throw this corn on the grill to get a little extra flavor. Now that's the thing is, is, you know, a lot of people just cook to cook to feed themselves. My big thing in life is all about adding flavor to food. Now sometimes it may be funny, sometimes it may be sad, sometimes it may be romantic, but most of the time it's just me having a beer and a smoke cooking some freaking food. Now, like I said, they broke, but they're going to be freaking amazing, I tell you. So I'm going to put you guys on pause because, well, shit, I got to unwrap while well, this mess of saran wrap around the freaking corn. And by the way. Take a brief moment to enjoy the beautiful weather. Now I live right in the heart of the city. And somehow, I have this decently cottage feeling to my house. And I love it! After these messages, well you know the rest. But in case you don't, I'll be right back. Doodaloo. 
So here we are with a no commercial break. And I gotta tell you, sometimes in life, you feel like you're on top of the world. And sometimes, you really might be. But no matter what you do, be humble, be polite with people, and be courteous. Because you never know when that one hello, that one smile, that one little bit of chivalry by opening the door will make someone's day. There's nothing funny about that. It's real life. Peace to everyone and treat everyone like you would like to be treated. For real! Seriously. So I'm back at the barbecue and well, I know sometimes there's cooking instructions on boxes and you've got your personal feel to how you like your food cooked. Like for, in my instance, if I'm cooking chicken on the barbecue, I like it friggin' black. I cook it till the outside is really just a char. The inside is usually super juicy because, well, once it's a char, I finish it off in the microwave. Because we all know I don't like using microwaves. Ouch. But I use them for certain types of cooking. And that's the thing, is whenever you want flavor on your food, you use a barbecue. But sometimes, once your flavor's there, you can actually use the microwave to finish it off. And in this case, we're just not doing that. We're not. We're not. We flipped our ribs. They broke. Threw my corn on the barbecue. It's cooking. It's cooking beautifully. But then... I moved my ribs to the bottom rack. Oh, crikey, what did I do? They broke again. Now you know they're friggin' tender and they're good. And like I said a while ago with cooking instructions, sometimes, in this case with the ribs, they told you 16 to 20 minutes on medium on the barbecue. Well me, I like to drink smoke cigarettes, and cook for a ridiculously long time just to make a video to keep you guys happy. Enjoy. But, in this case, you're done enjoying. Because we're up for plating. We've got a bit of a ribs. And our beautiful corn. Now, like I said, the corn was microwaved to start out with. But hey, throw a little char on that bad boy. She's good to go. Oh, wait. Time out. We all know what needs to happen. She's almost empty. May as well finish it off, baby. Now, oh, they don't sound right. They may be defective, but thank goodness, yeah, they're totally defective. But like I said, thank goodness, we're at the point of plating. So we're going to get on, and well, since it's going to be hard to make it pretty, We're just going to put it on the plate in somewhat the order it comes on. And while well, shit, if you don't like it, don't eat my ribs! But, 
as everything happens, there's got to be an end. So for me and the barbecue, I wish you good cooking. <laughs>